Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. A standing army of 6,000 specialist police officers are ready to be deployed at trouble hotspots as the government steps up efforts to deal with the riots crisis. Ministers are also overseeing moves to provide an extra 500 prison places as far-right thugs were warned courts could sit through the night to bring them to justice. Those involved in the violence on Britain's streets, which has broken out in the wake of the Southport stabbings, have been told they could face up to 10 years in jail. It comes after the widespread disorder stretched into a week, with police injured during sustained violence in Plymouth yesterday. Similar trouble on the streets of Darlington saw officers pelted with bricks. Justice Minister Heidi Alexander today said 567 additional prison spaces would soon come into use. We will make sure that anyone who is given a custodial sentence as a result of the riots and disorder, there will be a prison place waiting for them, she told BBC Radio 4's Today program. Extra cells at HMP Stockton, Rutland, will be in use from next week, Ms. Alexander said, with plans also in place to use space at Cookham Wood Young Offender Institution in Kent for adult prisoners. She also revealed more detail about the planned standing army of police officers Prime Minister Sir Keir Starmer announced yesterday afternoon. Ms. Alexander told Times Radio, these are police officers who have had specialist training in dealing with public order offenses. We had 4,000 available at the weekend. There will be another 2,000 available this week. It also means that police officers are able to be deployed in parts of the country where they are needed most. Elsewhere, she said courts could possibly begin sitting through the evening, the night, at weekends in order to swiftly prosecute rioters. The additional courts protocol, which was created in the aftermath of the 2011 riots, could be invoked in areas where police and prosecuting chiefs feel it is needed, the minister told LBC. The courts are now willing to consider any of those requests, according to Ms. Alexander. During her round of TV and radio interviews, Ms. Alexander warned thugs taking part in the riots they could face prison sentences of up to 10 years. She told ITV's Good Morning Britain, decisions about sentencing when these cases come to the courts will be for judges. But anyone watching our television screens and seeing the images that you and I have seen of this violent disorder, the racist attacks, the dangerous extremism, will realize that in all likelihood there are some very serious offenses that have been committed. It will be for the Crown Prosecution Service to determine what charges are brought against individuals. Evidence will need to be collated so that there are strong cases going before the courts, and then it will be judges to determine those sentences. But whether it is rioting, violent disorder, incitement to racial hatred, criminal damage, these carry very significant maximum sentences. Pressed on how long those sentences could be, she added, 10 years, 7 years, 5 years for some of the offenses that I've just spoken about. The maximum jail term for rioting is 10 years. Tory leadership contender James cleverly criticized the government's announcement of a standing army of public order police to deal with the riots. Posting on X, formerly known as Twitter, the shadow home secretary said, Labor still don't understand that they're not in opposition anymore. In government, you can't just say stuff, you have to do stuff. Mr. Cleverly went on to pose a series of questions about the plan, including, using the word army always sounds tough, but is he suggesting a paramilitary police force? What new or additional powers will the unit have? Police forces across the UK have officers who are public order trained, but when not dealing with disorder they have other police duties. Will this standing army of officers have no other duties? If so, what will they do when there are no riots? Or is Starmer expecting permanent riots? Mr. Cleverly, who is seeking to replace Rishi Sunak at the helm of the Conservative Party, also asked how much extra budget is being allocated, how long it will take to recruit the officers and where the unit will be based.